Today I'd like to do a short video about a setup that I'm trying to move to, which is a tarp and bivy setup to reduce the weight in my pack. Essentially, I'd like to go well under two pounds for my shelter system using the Korea Outdoors uh, mesh bivy. It's called a breezy mesh bivy and a light outdoors sil poly tarp. I'm going to set it up and I will say that when I set it up it was right out of the box with the bivy so I didn't really do a good job. I would really like to do it again some other time after I've used it out in the, in the woods to show just how taut you can get the sides and the walls so as you can see just the, the space you have in the bivy. Um, but you kind of get the idea with the setup and essentially the idea is to lighten the weight of the pack anyway. I will say that there are a lot of other options to do this type of setup. In fact, I've, I've watched numerous videos about people who do this kind of setup and, and use uh, a Dyneema, the formerly Cuban fiber fabric, tar, uh, bivy and tarp, mostly the, the tarp being a lot lighter, maybe four ounces lighter. Um, I've been reluctant to go to that fabric um, just because of the cost. And I would really like to see the Dyneema in the thicker version and a tarp. A lot of them are being sold at the 0.51 um, strength where I'd like to see the 0.74 or even the 0.1 that Hyperlite Mountain Gear uses uh, before I would buy a tarp like that. And essentially, when you buy one of those Dyneema tarps, you're talking about $300, $350 or more. They're great products, but I don't really can spend that much or want to spend that much. So you're about to see uh, the setup that I'm going to try to use. I want to attempt it. I may get it out in the field and decide this is not the way I want to go. And it may not be for you, but it is an idea to create a very, very lightweight setup for a minimal cost. Um, with the uh, bivy and a sil poly tarp. So, see what you think. Thanks. Outdoors. It's called the Mesh Breezy Mesh Bivy. 
<clears throat> this is my first time setting it up. I've been looking for a way to go in almost an ultralight setup under two pounds with a tarp and a bivy. It took a while for the Korea Products Company to get these back in. They were out of stock with them for a while. I've done another review on this great tarp that I got called the Light Outdoors uh, Sil Poly uh, tarp. It is an eight and a half by 10 tarp. Now I have this set up in the short version of the tarp so that it's not as long as it can be so it gets a little more room but I think with the combination of the the bivy and the tarp I can go to a really nice setup of under two pounds I believe the tarp that I have and I know it's not set up perfectly right now it's got some sags in it but I believe the tarp is um, 10 or 11 ounces the bivy is another uh, 10 or 11 ounces I'll try to put the description in there but this bivy has great sidewalls as you can see now I, this is the first out of the box setting up so I've got some work to do on the tie outs but essentially what I've done is I've used my trekking poles now again I could I could make this tarp I could take this tarp and run run it along this side of the ridge line and make it a lot longer so if I had to go in a more uh, situation a situation where it had more rain then I could make the tarp longer than it is right now this is the short using the the original ridge line that, that is is built into the tent right here but just taking my trekking pole and using I just have just some paracord here I can they actually Perea gave me more of this uh, I think Dyneema line I think it is maybe not um, this line but I can take they gave me extra line a lot more extra line so I could probably use those in place of these to, to uh, uh, lighten it up some more um, and I've got some work to do on these tie outs because I just the first time I've ever done it It can be a lot more taut than it is right now But you can see the walls the side walls or the bathtub floor If I come out with this more and it has tie outs here on both sides that I can use to uh, To pull out more if I wanted to but you can see how just how high these walls are and just how much space you have in there in the bivy itself not to mention I could set this I could offset the bivy next to the the wall of the tarp and uh, create myself more space now what I will do is I've got an old uh, footprint of an old tarp that I ha I mean an old uh, tent that I have an old mountain hardware tent and so I can create a lot more room on this side and obviously I can take make this a lot more taut and create more space but this would be essentially more in a rain mode and I don't have all the stakes out now I've got three on each side so you have three uh, titanium stakes and you can see how cool this back wall is um, it's, it's got a uh, the mesh goes down this side but the two walls have a higher um, waterproof uh, coating <clears throat> wall to it on each side so that the weather won't come in and then essentially I've got these great bathtub floors and I can put something underneath to get all my gear on one side or the other again offsetting this to one side I can put all my gear on one side and then I'd still be able to look out at the elements and see what's going on around me um, with this bivy uh, again I've got a lot of work to do learning how to set this up uh, but what you have is a sil poly tarp 8x10 uh, from light outdoors and then you have the Perea uh, mesh bivy 
with the large bathtub floors and then just some kind of ground tarp if you want it or ground uh, footprint to give you more protection on the bottom but in this situation how I've got it set up I mean this this out of the box setting up the pitching the the tarp first now that took all of I don't know two or three minutes and then setting this up even out of the box took two or three minutes maybe four minutes but it, it, I've got four stakes in it right now so you got four stakes here and six stakes out here so a, a total of ten stakes um, and that would be essentially what I would need oh and then you got I'm sorry you got 12 stakes you got the two that tie out the guy lines um, but a total of maybe 20 ounces 21 ounces so a pound and a half for this setup and completely weatherproof I mean, you do have the opens on both sides but uh, I kind of want that because I want to see my environment outside I hate being sometimes in my tent and I have to go unzip everything to even know what's going on outside around me uh, in the weather or you know some uh, animal comes up I know what they are I can look at both sides here um, and again the whole idea of this is to create an environment where I am under two pounds and some people like this kind of setup some people don't it may not be for you it may not be for me I'm gonna give this a try in the next uh, in the next few months especially in the summer months when it gets hot I like the ventilation here and I really don't see any chance of condensation in this um, I still have to uh, do silicon here and uh, put it across that uh, ridge line to, to keep it waterproof um, but with this setup I think I'm creating a very versatile and open way to lighten my pack and uh, create a lot of options. Now, I, another thing I can do is I can go without the bivy or just lay the bivy down and lay on top of it or just go completely without the bivy in you know fall or spring when you don't have to worry about bugs and stuff. But you need, obviously you need the bivy if you're gonna go um, in times that you would need the bugs protection. Uh, I, I went on a trip just recently and the bugs had started to come out so I took a tent but the tent was closer to three pounds maybe a little less than three pounds we're talking about cutting that weight in half with this setup now the other thing I wanted to mention is that the, the real benefit of something like this is um, here we are in, in 2019 that Perea Outdoors uh, mesh bivy there is uh, runs for I think it, it was on sale for $59 I think 59 or $69 all right so you you, you do that you got $59 $69 you fit. I think it was on sale for 59 then if you want this light outdoors I think they're made in Canada uh, but you can get any kind of tarp that you want but I like I like this company light outdoors you get this tarp um, I think I got this tarp. It was on sale for a short period of time for uh, $84. So we're talking about mm, somewhere about $150, $160, $170, $180, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1
the Enlightened Equipment uh, has a, a bibby like this, and they sell this one for about $150. So um, you're talking about double on the bibby itself. I think it's Enlightened Equipment. Um, uh, I believe that's the, the company. If not, I'll put it in the description. But th the one that I've seen from them, and theirs is, uh, again, a, well, theirs is not Dyneema, but it's a little lighter. It's three, three or four ounces lighter. But I do like these bathtub floors. They go up, you know, a good five, six inches um, in, in the fabric here above the, the mesh. The, the only... And when you get any of these types of bivvies, what you're going to see, and I just really like this one. I kept looking at a bunch of different ones, but I really like this one. Um, I like the fabric. I like these little uh, toggles here for to, to straighten it up. But you're going to have a entrance that you have to get in from the top, but that's not going to be a big deal. But look at all the room here you have. I mean, you have a lot of room, and that's especially when I get the get it taut and and set up properly, you're going to have a, a lot of room inside there for uh, not just a regular pad, but a, a, a wider pad, a 25 inch pad. I use a 20 pad, 20 inch pad. And yeah, I do have a little, like my arms go off on the side, but if you had a 25 inch, inch pad, still fine there. There's a couple of other bibbies you might want to look at from Bora uh, gear and I think Enlightened Equipment. I think maybe Gossamer gear has one. Um, but again, those are a lot more expensive than the free outdoors. And I think what you're, what you're going to see with this, I hope anyway, this is my thought is that when I have this out, I'm creating a great environment for myself to have lots of ventilation, lots of room on either side. So that gives a, a, a good situation for, for me to stay out of the rain, stay out of the, um, the weather and the elements and anyway i think it's something i'm going to try i'm not saying it's for everybody obviously it's uh it's always an evolution for me i've gone from hammock to tent uh from heavy tent down to lighter tent to heavy tent heavy hammock to lighter hammock and to me everything about hiking and backpacking is an evolution of where you come from and where you go and this is just another um, opportunity for me and uh, an idea if it doesn't work I will move back to either my hammock or a tent or eventually maybe save and buy a Dyneema tent that is uh, those things are super expensive but I think this is, a, is, is an option for people who are kind of uh, um, intermediate hikers maybe not uh, maybe not advanced hikers because some people are going to really want that tent and that rain fly and the connection of the, the rain fly to the tent and being out of the elements and completely feel like they're in a house but for me as i do this more i've done this now for 15 16 years uh, it's just something i wanted to try and it was not an expensive option to me it's all about expense you, you can go spend hundreds and even thousands of dollars a thousand dollars now on some of these new cottage industries like hyperlight mountain gear and things like that and create a setup that's even lighter than this um, but uh, you're investing a lot of money and this is basically a hundred and 140 150 dollars maybe 160 dollars uh, for this setup now you do have a lot of pegs or in the south we we call them stakes but you do have you know 10 12 stakes that you can at a minimum to put out and you can put more if you want to but you know that that doesn't bother me with the weight uh, all right well I thought I would do this video and just kind of show you what I had I hope um, this is something that that is helpful to you as you're getting into backpacking if not I apologize <laughs> it might be something you're not interested in but it is a good thought, an idea, and just something I'm going to work toward and see if it works for me. If it doesn't, I will uh, move on in my evolution of camping and, and shelters. Thank you for watching.